no ball so we have worked with the s3 and we know that s3 is a uh, object based storage we play with the object and bucket concept so bucket is container where you can store your uh, unlimited number of uh, uh, objects but the size has to be uh, th there is a upper threshold for sizing so it will allow only um, i guess uh, 50 terabyte of that data which uh, or 20 terabyte of the data uh, just make sure you refer to the right fact currently it's not in my mind there is a limitation with the s3 bucket per bucket you should not have your i think 200 uh, terabyte yeah so it's a 200 terabyte of data is the maximum that you should uh, store into your s3 bucket a single bucket will allow you um, so but whenever you are um, transferring your data to s3 you are uh, operating the things over https basically so which is your internet based uh, storage uh, you are uploading your content files uh, as an object inside the s3 as over the internet basically so there is a limitation when you have a higher size of uh, data you can consider your data center migration so if you have a data which is very very huge uh, definitely that will be not so easy to uh, do the data transfer in a limited days you cannot uh, do it and if you are doing the data transfer over the internet it will take month and month time to complete uh, migrate the data which can cause the delay to your uh, 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 readiness of your service uh, that means the server migration from the uh, on-prem to uh, aws cloud so aws cloud has come up with the service called snowball Snowball is the device like uh, whatever there in the right side of the PT here. Uh, see, this is the suitcase kind of uh, device. This is this is concealed device. Inside that there is a hard disk basically. Uh, it's a it's a bigger size of hard disk. So one Snowball will be a 50 terabyte of a single uh, device, uh, which they will uh, lend you for a couple of days and how that happens you just raise your request inside the snowball for data transfer and pick up the size what size of data you have to transfer and then you can uh, that will uh, uh, automatically uh, pick up the size of uh, snowball or number of a snowball for fitting the size and uh, they will post send it send you the device to your address through the through the local post and uh, as of now i guess it's only available in the us but uh, very soon it will be uh, across the different uh, countries so uh, this is uh, this was just an experimental service in our beginning but now it's a very serious service so uh, this will be couriered or uh, post uh, send send as a post to your uh, place uh, whatever the address you will uh, mention and this is guaranteed to be delivered in a one to two business days so suppose if you raise it today uh, it may come by monday for sure and uh, it will give you by default like a 10 days of time to copy all of your data and that will that is like a default package so 10 days 200 dollar of charge and uh, size of the snowball will be 50 TB of a terabyte of a snowball will be given. If you uh, are not done in a few, uh, 10 days of time, so it's inclusive, like a day one is delivered. It's exclusive, the day one that is uh, delivered and uh, the end day is inclusive. So the delivery day is exclusive, that's not counted. Uh, from the next day, uh, they will count and the uh, the day that uh, 10th day falls that is inclusive so you, you should be able to uh, send back or call them schedule the service for pickup uh, 10th day if you're not doing it then from there onward it will be 15 dollar per day charge so this is uh, this is the cost wise and additional uh, like uh, handling charges will be uh, uh, collected as well that means it's a shipping cost so there is no free tier for a snowball so don't uh, be able to try you cannot be able to go and see how this works so uh, even options are not there so you can see the snowball but you cannot be able to create any request or add up your address and try it so 
Uh, this snowball comes with the inbuilt uh, data encryption capability. The moment you start, uh, the moment you connect your uh, connect to your system and uh, start copying, the data will be automatically encrypted. And uh, once the snowball reaches back to AWS uh, data center, they will plug it and uh, make, they will make sure to copy to your uh, S3 buckets that you mentioned. So all the information will be uh, taken as a form where uh, where you will add all this data so these all informations will be collected and how which place of um, uh, aws s3 bucket has to be you know uh, receiving this data will be mentioned there's a system called uh, data import export uh, which will be used this is very fast uh, way to copy the petabytes of data uh, 